The ski race. Mrs. Pepperpot is a funny, fragile old woman who at some moments becomes as small as a pepperpot. She never knows when it can happen, but she feels when she's going to be her normal size again. Mrs. Pepperpot is married. Her husband, Mr. Pepperpot, is a sportsman. Her husband going for sports for many years and is good at winter and summer sports. The Pepperpots live in Norway. They are fond of growing vegetables in their greenhouse and traveling all over the world. Last summer they spent a month on the coast of the Mediterranean. So the hat was really unbearable. Mr. Pepperpot spent many hours a day in the sunshine. He liked the sunlight and didn't believe that it can do humans any harm or badly influence their health or even, or even ruin it. He swam a lot too. Mrs. Pepperpot suffered a little from the changes in the climate. She was used to warm summer afternoons and cool evenings of her native country where you always breathe in fresh air and feel active. But she enjoyed her holiday. The Pepperpots stayed out a lot and Mr. Pepperpot even slept out. When they came home, it was autumn in Norway. The days became shorter. The weather got tangible. It started raining. It often snowed. Soon, real winter began. Winter had always had a great influence on Mr. Pepperpot. He was fond of taking part in different winter sports competitions. Thus, as, you, as usual, he decided to go in for the local ski race. He had been a pretty good skier when he was young, so he said to Mrs. Pepperpot, I don't see why I shouldn't have a go this year. I feel much better than I have for many years. That's right, husband, you do that, said Mrs. Pepperpot. And if you win the cup, you'll get your favorite cake when you come home. So Mr. Pepperpot put his name down and on the day of the race, he put on his white parka and red cap and got out. He slung his keys over his shoulders and said he would wax them when he got to the starting point. Best of luck, said Mrs. Pepperpot, and her husband went off. It wasn't before they had turned the corner by the main road that Mrs. Pepperpot caught sight of his can of wax, which he had left on the chair. Oh my, exclaimed Mrs. Pepperpot, now I shall have to go after him or his skis won't go forward and there'll be no cup in this house today. The day will be ruined for Mr. Pepperpot. So Mrs. Pepperpot ran up the road as fast as she could with the can of wax. When she got near the starting point, there was a huge crowd there. She tried to find her husband, but everyone seemed to be wearing white parks and red caps. At last she saw a pair of sticks stuck in the snow with a red cap on them. She could see the letters PP on the cap. That must be his cap, thought Mrs. Pepperpot. There's a head initials. Peter Pepperpot. I'll just put the wax in the cup, then he'll find it when he comes back. Nobody knows what influenced Mrs. Pepperpot, but she suddenly got very small and it was she who fell into the cup. No harm down, thought Mrs. Pepperpot. When Peter comes, he'll see me in his cap. Then he can put me down somewhere out of the way of the race. And as soon as I grow large again, I can go home.